Hey everyone, Keith here at Tips and Tricks HQ. In a previous video, I demonstrated the installation of the WP Lightbox Ultimate plugin, and it just installs like any other plugin. And I also demonstrated um, playing a YouTube video in a Lightbox as well as an Amazon S3 hosted video. And in the video where I demonstrated Amazon, it was a public video, it wasn't a protected Amazon video. So in this video, I want to cover how to play a protected Amazon S3 video in a light box. All right, so the first thing we want to do, once the plugin, plugin is installed and activated, we're going to go to settings, WP light box, and we can take a look right here. We got to make sure that Amazon S3 video display is checked. Now, if we're doing public videos, we only need to be in their MP4s, we can just use this setting here. But since we're using private, we want to make sure that that's checked, and then we could set these settings up here. And then also you want to set an expiry time for the uh, for the video, for example, 3600. Alright, so now let's head over to Amazon S3. And under your account name at the top, you can click on security credentials. We'll open that in a new tab. And then click on the plus sign next to access keys. Okay, so once you have the access keys here, you gotta you understand that you need a secret key as well so that's that's stored um, in the legacy security credentials page um, in the future they're removing that so we have to make sure that we copy our secret keys because we won't be able to access them anymore from this page at any rate um, I'm gonna go to the legacy page I have it open here in a new window and I can get my access key right there I'm gonna copy that over to a notepad file and I'm also going to click on show to get the secret access key. You're just a reminder here that we are not going to be able to access this in the future. So we have to make sure we keep these or else we're going to have to create new access keys in the future. All right, I'm just going to close that, close that. All right, now back to WP Lightbox settings and we're going to put in our access key ID and the secret access key click on update options alright now we want to go back click create buckets click on create and it's a good idea just to use a really simple name with no dashes, no spaces, no hyphens or anything like that. It works best that way. So let's open that bucket. All right, now we want to upload. So click on upload, add files. Here's a B12 video that I'm going to upload. And click on start upload. I'm going to, while that's going, I'm going to go through the rest of the process. Let's go back here. Let's go to the plugins usage area link and get the PDF with the short codes for, Am for Amazon S3 protected content. All right, let's save that to the desktop. Okay, now I'm gonna open that up. Okay, I'm gonna use this short code. Here's so copy that, right click copy. Okay, and I got a page here, I'm gonna paste that in. All right, this is where we're gonna put the file name and then we can put the bucket name right in there. So the bucket we called it Keith Demo 2 in this case, so I'm gonna do that. And there's the file name there, optimized B12B. All right, we can modify the width and height if we want, or we can remove them completely and it'll use the default settings. And here's the call to action link. I'll just leave that as is. And then we can click update or publish.
All right, now I'm going to pause the video until the upload is complete here. And you'll notice that I hadn't set any, I didn't set any permissions, so this file will be protected by default. All right, everything's finished uploading. You can't see the progress bar here anymore because I had it checked automatically for your finished transfers, but it is up there. So now let's go back to WordPress, uh, make sure everything's set up in here. So we got the video file name, the bucket name, and those those two are key. And of course, we got the text link. All right, so let's view the page in our browser. And we see our text link there, so click on that. And let's click play and make sure the video plays. And there we go. Okay, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching. As again, this is Keith, Tips and Tricks HQ.